boys and girls, it's Thursday! That means it's library time with Miss Janine. I hope you've been having an amazing week so far and that you've been enjoying all the caterpillar theme lessons that all of us specials teachers have put together for you. So what we're going to do for library and media class this week is we are going to read this book together. It is called Clara Caterpillar. And so one of the things I want you to do is take a moment, pause the video if you have to, get a piece of paper. I want you to keep track of how many different words that you hear that start with the letter C from the story. There are a lot of them, so keep your ears open and I can't wait to see how many you've come up with. So let's pretend this is my white paper here. For every word that you hear in the story that starts with a letter C, whether it's a soft C or a hard C, doesn't matter, you're going to put a line down to count each word. Now remember, a soft C sounds like what you hear in the word cereal. S -s -s cereal, it almost sounds like an S. A hard C is what you hear when you hear the word cake. K, K, cake. So for every letter C word, you are going to make one line down. For every five, you can actually put a line across them so we can easily count in fives. So if you're in first grade, you'll probably understand how to count in fives maybe a little better. For kindergartners, obviously you don't have to do that. Making one line for each word that you hear is totally acceptable. Clara Caterpillar. This book is written by Pamela Duncan Edwards and illustrated by Henry Cole. The author writes the words, the illustrator draws the pictures. One day, a cream-colored butterfly laid an egg on a cabbage leaf. Grow up to be courageous and contented, Clara, she called to her egg as the wind carried her away. Clara lay curled in the egg case for a considerable time. Eventually, a crowd of caterpillars clustered around her. She's incredibly late coming out, commented one. She's very cautious, agreed another. A curious caterpillar knocked on Clara's egg case. This is Cornelius, he said, come on out. But I'm comfortable in here, called Clara. Cares if she comes out, scoffed a scowling caterpillar called Katisha. It's clear she'll only be a cabbage caterpillar. Cabbage caterpillars are so common. Don't be cruel, Katisha, Cornelius scolded. Cabbage caterpillars are cute. You say cabbage, cried Clara. Cabbage sounds scrumptious. So Clara cut a hole in her egg case and clambered out. I'm a lucky caterpillar, she said. Cornelius, come and share this delectable cabbage. Clara and Cornelius climbed and crawled and capered about. They had carefree caterpillar fun. They crammed themselves with cabbage, carrot, and cauliflower leaves. They grew into colossal caterpillars. Then one day, Cornelius called, Clara, come and make your chrysalis. Don't encourage her, mocked Katisha. She's only going to become a common cabbage butterfly. Why is Katisha being catty? Clara asked. Katisha is conceited, comforted Cornelius. She knows she'll become an attractive crimson-colored butterfly. Then Clara, Cornelius, and the other caterpillars caught onto the cabbage, carrot, and cauliflower plants with cottony threads. They crinkled and discarded their skins and cuddled down inside their chrysalises. I hate being cooped up. I'm cramped. I'm coiled like a corkscrew. I'm crushed in here. I'm creased. I'm crumpled. My back tickles. It's making me cranky. I can't scratch. I can't cope, complained Katisha. Cooey, cried Cornelius to Clara. Are you comfortable? Actually, I'm very cozy, Clara called back. Then, one morning, the chrysalises began to crack and out climbed delicate creatures. Cool, cried Clara. You all look captivating. Cornelius, you're a terrific copper color. 
Why is that scruffy creature conversing with us? Complained a scowling crimson colored butterfly. Katisha, Clara said, you are spectacular. Of course, replied Katisha, and you, Clara, are so cream. I think cream is cute, declared Cornelius. Cute, Katisha snickered. Don't be ridiculous, Cornelius. Then Katisha climbed toward the clouds on her scaly cobweb wings. Suddenly, a crow caught and scared everyone. Snack time, he explained as he caught sight of the crimson-colored Katisha. The butterflies panicked and frantically scattered in all directions. You can't escape, screeched the crow to Katisha. Katisha, I'm coming to the rescue, cried Clara. Clara, be careful, screamed Cornelius. Plucking up her courage, Clara flicked her wings at the crow. Catch me if you can, you scallywag, she taunted. Then Clara curved down and ducked into a camellia bush. The crow became confused and forgot about Katisha. He cocked his head and pecked in the petals, but Clara, the cream-colored butterfly, lay camouflaged behind the curtain of cream-colored camellias. That's curious, complained the crestfallen crow. I was confident I could capture a succulent snack. The coast is clear, Cornelius shouted. The crisis is over. Congratulations, Clara, complimented the other butterflies. Clara, you're so clever, cried the shocked Katisha. I could never camouflage myself like you. I'm too colorful. I was crazy to scoff at your cream color. It's incredible. And cute, too, declared Cornelius. Cornelius clapped his wings. Listen carefully, he commanded. That crow is a scoundrel. Let's cling close to Clara. Clara can stop him from catching us. Clara is so capable and courageous. Clara is lucky to be cream colored, said Katisha. And I'm a completely contented butterfly, said Clara. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the story of Clara Caterpillar and how she turned into a beautiful butterfly. And here is another challenge. If you are in first grade, what I want you to do is spend a little bit of time and I want you to write down 20, two, zero, 20 different words that you can think of that start with the letter C that you may not have heard in the story. If you are in kindergarten, I encourage you to try to do the same thing. Think of how many letter C words you can write down as well. Can't wait to hear about it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.